Welcome to my Poland travel video, where I'll be your Polish travel guide. Want to visit Poland or know what things to do in Poland? This video covers two weeks worth of adventures in Poland during the month of September. Join us on our two week adventure as we go all around the country. The first stop on our Poland tour was Krakow, a city in southern Poland. On day one, we visited the Market Square, made an effort to try different types of foods, we went shopping, and most importantly, we tried to adjust to the six hour time difference. As for accommodations, this was the first time we only booked Airbnbs. So the funny thing about our Airbnb that we did not realize is common in Europe are the way the doors and the windows open. So what we did is we opened the handle to the top and we were trying to open the door and the top half literally came off. We thought it came off the hinges, we contacted our Airbnb host and we were just like, oh my god, somebody broke your door. She was panicking a bit too, but then soon after we realized when we put it back down, put the handle the regular way and just pull, ta-da! Now that we've been able to have a good night's rest, let's see what day two in Krakow has in store for us. So we just got to check out the Babel Cathedral as well as the Bell Tower where you can have an excellent viewpoint and a museum. What we did is an audio tour guide which you get one of these headsets, I know super glamorous, and you follow along here. This was a little confusing at times but overall definitely worth the experience. I love the little detailing. I just want to quickly mention that having a rental car to do this tour of Poland was extremely helpful. In Krakow, we discovered that there are many areas on the street where you can park your car for free on the weekends. Bonus! <laughs> so we haven't had time to rent one of these because we've been using our feet to walk, but if you do, just download an app. They're all over the city and when you're done, you just leave it where it is. Don't be afraid to get lost in Poland. You never know where you're gonna end up. <laughs> Many people recommended to check out the salt mines when in Poland, so we decided to do the miner's route instead of the tourist route. So that means there are two. This one was more authentic, as you can tell by the wardrobe. We've got like emergency equipment on us. You get a map. It's around two hours. I was a little chilly. I'm wearing like a long sleeve underneath, so I was a little cold, and it's it's a pretty neat experience. Wieliczka Salt Mine is one of Poland's oldest business ventures. It is a monument to the history of Poland and the Polish nation, with over one million tourists visiting each year. Online ticket prices for the salt mine were approximately 89 zł per person. There are many mounds in Poland. We decided to go to a paying one to guarantee a beautiful view. If you have about an hour in your day and you're in Krakow, mm -hmm. check it out. Maybe they're all around the country, but I know for sure that they're here. Well, you also get access to a little museum, which we're about to go to next. Okay, we've spent a good few days in Krakow. Now, let's head to Zakopane. Between Canada and over here in Poland, I always seem to push when I'm supposed to pull with the doors and vice versa. So, as you can tell, you gotta pull. Zakopane is a town in the extreme south of Poland. We primarily came here to hike and to see the Tatra Mountains, but of course we tried to squeeze in anything extra. We are in the center of Zakopane. There are a lot of options for things to eat from stands to restaurants, you name it. Come hungry here because the food is pretty good from what we've tried so far. Also, I noticed that a lot of stores, like clothing stores, are not open on Sundays. So save your shopping for days during the week. And also, fun fact, a lot of people come here from the Ukraine because you don't need a visa. Day two in Zakopane brought us to one of our trip highlights, Morskie Oko. If you are looking for a variety of hike options, this is the place to visit. Today we are at Morskie Oko. It cost us about 30 zwote, which is around $10 Canadian to park our car because we drove, and then five zwote each per person to get into the park. So Morskie Oko is within the Tatre Mountains. It's absolutely beautiful here. It took us about 
two hours and 15 minutes from the very bottom to get up here. You do have the option to take a horse-drawn carriage. That is about 50 zloty per person. It's up to you. We walked it. It was fine. It's not too much of a heavy terrain, but you do have to have a bit of endurance. So make sure you get a good night's sleep. We are here around September, so the temperatures are constantly changing and elevating. So bring lots of layers, you'll be fine. Hiking shoes are always a good idea. So we decided to hike up from Morske Oko about 45 minutes to Charnes Stau Podresami. It's quite an uphill hike, so if you don't have hiking shoes, make sure you bring some poles. The view here is pretty good, but what I love most about anything is seeing Morske Oko from like this bird's eye view. So to me, it's a 10 out of 10. As it is now time to leave Zakopane, I wanted to quickly step into an upside down house. What am I talking about? Here, I'll show you. So over here, we're at a very quick tourist attraction, which is 13 Zwote, which is around $5 Canadian. You can see an upside down house. When you go in there, you're only allowed to be there for five minutes because you get dizzy. So if you have about half an hour in your day and you're in Zakopane, check it out. Wrocław is a place we absolutely fell in love with, and it is the largest city in Western Poland. We are in the beautiful city of Wrocław. Over here, there is a large university, so you will see a ton of students. It's a very picturesque city. If you're lucky, you'll see a lot of gnomes. The city is known for that. We're gonna head and visit some viewpoints to get some incredible views because we're only here for one day passing through. So let's go see what we see. Not only is Wrocław known for a number of historical sites, but I heard that some bars and pubs stay open in Wrocław until the last person leaves. We didn't stay out to test it that late, so if you go, you'll have to let me know in the comment box below if it's actually true. After climbing way too many steps, we made it to the top of the lookout tower of the Garrison Church. You just peek through to get some incredible views. Let's quickly head out now and peek into the panorama of the Battle of Ratsławice. The picture is 114 meters long and 15 meters high. I swear we're leaving Wrocław soon, but if you see the panorama, grab one of these to select your language, which is English, and you'll be able to get the full history of this beautiful panoramic painting. And yes, I just had to run off as the employee was rushing us out for the next group tour. Poznan was on our list of places to visit because my dad studied and lived there in the 80s. So naturally, I was curious to see. We made it to Poznan, which is a cute little town as you can see. We saw the billy goats hit their heads at noon, which happens every single day here at the Starodinik, which is the old town square. And now we're going to try a St. Martin's croissant, which is protected by the European Union a Certificate of Authenticity, which means it can only be reproduced here. I think it's raining. <laughs> so let's uh, give this a shot. Interested in seeing more about food in Poland? Well, stay tuned for my next video that features all of the dishes that we ate, what food we tried, just for you to get an idea of what to order when you're in Poland. We made it to Kołobrzeg! <laughs> Kołobrzeg. 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 Kołobrzeg is a Polish city located on the Baltic Sea in the northwestern part of Poland. So we're here in Kołobrzeg and I wanted to mention that especially in this area there are a lot of sanatoriums. So really what that means is if you have an illness that you've been wanting to cure for a while and you have a doctor's note you can come here and they kind of have like spas and a doctor will give you like a certain schedule to follow. You can also purchase more. I find that really interesting because we don't seem to have that in Canada that I'm aware of. This is also a really beautiful place in the summer. So that was my fun fact for the day because that is something I didn't know before I came to Poland. Kołobrzeg has a 12 kilometer long beach and is a popular holiday spot. Manowo is a village in Poland, specifically near the city of Koszalin. Usually during our vacations, we take hotels, but this time we took an Airbnb every single day. We're in a different location, but of course I have family here in Poland, so we are lucky to stay in Manovo. 
since I haven't been back to Poland in 15 years, it was nice to see and compare how some of my family lives in Poland. When my mom was younger and still living in Poland, her family would often go to pick blueberries and mushrooms. They even ended up selling them. I've noticed that people still do this on the streets of Poland. This was my first time as well as my boyfriend's first time picking mushrooms and boy was it an experience I'll never forget. So make some friends with some locals and maybe they'll take you out to some good spots to pick some mushrooms of your own. Are you enjoying this video? Well guess what, I have tons of other travel videos so don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, join me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, I'm there. On our way to Gdansk, we stopped at a little town called Sopot just to see this cute little coffee shop. Isn't it neat? Sopot is a town on the Baltic Sea in northern Poland. Right now we are in Sopot. Right behind me is the longest wooden pier in Poland. Sopot is in the middle of two other cities because this little area is called Proj Miasto, which is like a tri-city. So right beside Danes and Gdynia. It's so busy here. We're here on a Sunday. So many people you guys can't even imagine. And what we have noticed that's trending are leather jackets. So if you've got a leather, faux leather, anything of that sort, pants, shorts, skirts, bring them. Gdańsk is located on the Baltic Sea. We spent two days here, but even if you can only spend one day in Gdańsk, you'll get a good glimpse of what Gdańsk is all about. So right behind me here you see a bar Mleczne, which literally means milk bar. They're traditional style uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner places that are on the cheaper side, very cafeteria styled, so budget friendly. We just tried it out for the first time, we loved it. If you don't see a menu with pol with English subtitles kind of underneath, then I would suggest Googling what you really love so you know what words to look out for. Most places in Poland do have English translations and sometimes Spanish translations. This one didn't, but they have a lot of food on display, so you cannot go wrong if you find these little bar mlecz. Can you say Gdańsk? <laughs> I know it's hard. I can only say it because I speak Polish. Let's try it together. Gdańsk. Gdańsk. Good job. We are in beautiful Gdańsk. It is electric, vibrant, colorful, musical. There's so many creative people here doing their thing. If you guys are paying with cash wherever you go within Poland, what we've noticed is that they want exact change most of the time. So if you're bringing like a hundred złoty, like big bills, they tend to struggle with it. I'm not sure why they don't have lots of change on hand, but always have lots of coins and you should be fine. Now let's head to the largest city and the capital of Poland, Warszawa or as most English speakers like to say, Warsaw. We made it to Warsaw! Right now we're in the Palace of Culture and Science. It cost us about 20 złoty per person to get up to the top. Yes, you take an elevator and you get an amazing viewpoint. You definitely feel the rush of the city here. So let me show you the viewpoint and then let's explore Warsaw for the next three days. Are you a city person or more of a nature person? Let me know in the comment box below. If you answered city and you love to shop, just like me, <laughs> I'm gonna show you which mall was my favorite. In the center of Warsaw, you have right next to the railway station, a shopping center called Spote Terrasse. We're going on segways today. My first segway experience. Ah, I'm super nervous going in circles. My boyfriend seemed to pick up the Segway skills faster, but it was hard with all the cobblestone streets. It made the ride so bumpy. Plus, I didn't want to hit anyone. <laughs> we are in beautiful Warszawa. Every country we visit, we try to get on their public transportation system and just compare it to what we have at home in Toronto. Even though we had a car, we wanted to check out the transit system here in Poland. So right now we're taking the subway. We did take the bus before and prices range from 2 złoty to 4 złoty. It obviously depends where you go. It goes on zones, but everything's been smooth sailing, so good luck. 
All right, now let's get outside in nature and visit a park that was recommended over and over again. We made it to Wajenki Park, which is the largest park in Warsaw or Warsaw, however you like to pronounce it. You can come here for a run, a jog, a stroll with your children. It's beautiful. There's a restaurant, there's a palace as you can see behind me. So there's no shortages of things to do here in Warsaw. On our very last day, it was raining on and off. We weren't sure what to do, so we decided to take a peek at Warsaw's multi-purpose sports and entertainment stadium. We just did the PGE Narodowy Stadium VIP tour. This stadium is a multi-purpose stadium, so there's concerts, sporting events. What we got in this little excursion of ours is we got to see the locker rooms. There are even prison cells here, lodge rooms, different viewpoints. It's it's something to be seen. Tickets are around 27 zloty, so I'll convert that down below and the tour is approximately an hour to an hour and a half so you can go at your leisure so if you're into sports i would suggest coming here don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends let's go to the next country